And because we are in this state, now I'm not right this second, but uh, but we both reside in the state of Mississippi. We have been talking about the Mississippi State flag issue, and it kind of picked up some more steam today. There were 46 college coaches and administrators from all across the state, Ole Miss, Mississippi State, Southern Miss, Jackson State, Millsaps, etc., that all went to Jackson, Mississippi to discuss the changing of the state flag with legislators. I was a little surprised by this, that, one, that they were even in session. I mean, it's June 25th. I really didn't think that they would even be doing anything right now. But that, along with the fact that Walmart has decided they are not going to fly the state flag, they are no longer going to sell anything with the state flag, they're not going to sell anything or carry anything that has any Confederacy or Confederate emblems on them, I think we might be picking up a little bit of steam. Now, they're discussing the vote being in the state legislator or legislature. However, the state governor, Tate Reeves, wanted to go to a vote by the citizens of the state of Mississippi. Chris, I'm not asking for a prediction. I'm more so asking, you know, where do you think we might be headed? Or if you have any thoughts on it. I about to say I don't I don't know what that means I don't know how I'm supposed to give what what I think might happen without a prediction yeah um I you know once again I I just want it changed I think it's time to change it I, I'm I it's hard to buy any arguments for not changing it okay it just really is it doesn't hurt anybody to change it okay yeah. that's as simple as it gets um. It impedes I the worry states. about the people like, of Mississippi and if it was put to a vote with the people and or the legislature, will it pass? I am curious, like one, the I, I think it hinders Mississippi's ability to move forward business wise. Yep. I think it impedes their ability to move forward uh, with new residents coming in, with people that might be coming into the state. There's all sorts of things that it can hurt. And I don't think it – I think it hurts to keep it. I don't think it hurts anything to change it. 100%. So, so the progressive move would be to move forward and get this thing done. When you've got all of those college the, – the higher-ups, the people that are the faces of the state that all show up and say that they need this change, they need this done. One, it's affecting recruiting, but also, hey, it's time. Like, we're just done with this. I, I think that has to gain some kind of momentum. You would hope that eventually somebody with some sense would step up and say the right thing, right? I would hope. Uh, OB Matt jumps in, says the flag thing only seems to pop up every few years. If they get rid of it, then what will people complain about? Oh, there's still plenty to complain about. Don't get me wrong, but, you know, I, I, think, uh, I think changing it is the right call. It's definitely the right call for right now, and hopefully with Mike Leach and Lane Kiffin and that whole bunch, all the basketball coaches, all the football coaches, et cetera, all the ADs going to Jackson today to lobby for a change, hopefully that will change something. Uh, did you see some of the videos of, like, Leach popping uh, Lane Kiffin's mask? Yeah. Egg Bowl is going to be a lot of fun this year. Yeah. I can't wait. I can't wait. I, I, I like – I like once again, that, that relationship was so toxic – between Ole Miss and, and State, that that it it's really good to have those two leading those programs. I do believe that it'll be a fun game, and it will it will not be nearly as nasty or toxic. You could actually enjoy this thing now. Yes, I do agree with that. Uh, ben said Mike Leach is going. Uh, well, I mean he's he was there. Yeah, he was there. Yeah. <laughs> He said the same guy who wants to negotiate a 64 team playoff is negotiating this. Look, I don't think he's necessarily in Jackson, Mississippi, negotiating uh, the change of the state flag. I think he was in the state capitol to show that he is for a changing of the flag. Like, I, they're all lobbying, they're all there together. I don't think that all 46 different administrators and head coaches got a chance to get up and say their thoughts on it. I mean, that, that just seems. Lane spoke yesterday, though. Yeah, Lane, Lane spoke yesterday to uh, to media, right? Or am I wrong? I mean, okay. 
I mean, basically, he was talking to legislature. But he, but he wasn't like in the. I mean, I think all of them are going to give their. Who do you think to, he's talking to? Who? Who? Lane? Yes. No, I, I'm talking about getting up at the state capitol and talking to. The he was at the capitol. Now he wasn't like standing in the hall of Congress in the state of Mississippi. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's but he I'm was saying. in Jackson speaking to legislatures. That's what he was doing. He didn't that's, just go and take a take a photo op. That's, I thought that's what the majority of them were doing. I thought there were some people that were standing. But up he was there statement. yesterday. That's what happened today. Interesting. Okay. Yeah. I, I mean, who knows? Uh, and he spoke yesterday. But and I, he met with people yesterday. I'm sure that Leach had something pre-planned, pre-done. I and I don't think that he's that ma- crazy. It doesn't matter. They're all. We all agree on this. Yeah. They're all for the problem is, the is we all agree on this, and we are not everybody who lives in the state. Agreed. Agreed. All right, next topic on the board. Jack's 